An unthinkable situation, eight firefighters returning home from battling the airport fire badly hurt when their truck overturns. It happened along the 241 toll road in Orange County, and as KCAL's Michelle Geely shows us, the injured firefighters, colleagues, they're all rallying mm -hmm. around them. We've got a tough road ahead. The Orange County Fire Authority chief briefed reporters on the condition of eight of his men who were rushed to local trauma centers Thursday night after their utility truck rolled several times on the toll road near Irvine after a 12 hour shift. As you can imagine how traumatic it would be to see your fellow firefighters that injured in the middle of the freeway. I had an opportunity to meet with them last night, very late last night, and it was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, as we stand here today, I think we're all still a bit of shock. Brian Fennessy says it was fellow firefighters driving behind the crew on the 241 toll road who first called in for help. How many medics and ambulances you need? We've got one overturned crew buggy, multiple patients, possibly a total of 10 patients. Uh, we're triaging now. All of the injured belong to the Santiago hand crew, which, according to Chief Fennessy, is the most challenging assignment in the OCFA. The members are young and must be physically fit in order to perform the strenuous job of hiking into inaccessible areas during a fire and clearing brush using tools and chainsaws. Two of the members of the hand crew are at Santa Ana's Orange County Global Medical Center. We got two patients here last night, both uh, in critical condition when they came in. Um, they both remain in the ICU this morning. Um, one I would say is uh, critical but stable. The other uh, remains quite critical still. According to the CHP, the truck carrying the hand crew swerved to avoid a ladder in the roadway, causing it to roll over several times. Here's a look inside of a similar OCFA rig. There are eight seats in the back of the utility truck and two seats in the front cab for the driver and a passenger. Above the rear seats is space for firefighters gear. They do have uh, all the protections that you know are required. Um, I don't know this for sure, but I'm confident given uh, knowing the supervisors and the, and the uh, those that, that manage these crews that the crew was seat belted. Um, which I'm sure was very helpful. Um, you know, they're heavy vehicles. They're, if you've seen a picture of them, they're very top heavy. So it wouldn't take much, you know, at speed, you know, for them to, to roll over. Four of their injured firefighters range from stable to critical condition. Two additional patients have been released. The fire chief says that many of these young men will have to be hospitalized for a long time. Their union has started to raise money to support them and their families. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, KCAL News. And if you'd like to help the injured firefighters in Orange County, we have a link on our website to a fund that will help support them. Just go to our website, kcalnews.com.